ground. Yeah. So how do you how does one start to just even run an event uh, uh, planning business? What okay. what do you look out for? First, you have to be well disciplined. If you're not well disciplined, you'll fail. Then, lazima ukwe outthink and I'm talking about research. You have to look at what people want, what people are doing. Alafu kitu kifanya, ita ko outstanding, something unique mm -hmm. that not many do. Mm -hmm. Like at that time when we were starting, like the pool party, your time Nairobi Mzima, kukwana pool parties. Hey, when was this? 2018, oh. 2019. No one was hosting pool parties. Okay. The last pool party we finally got against 2016. Oko. Okay. Many were color splash and all that. So when doing something or venturing into something, you have to think of something. Any what or funny. Or something, something unique. Something unique. Okay. Yeah. So that's how we started out. Yeah, love for pays charity. Yes, charity kilam to funny. But ours, we try to do it also uniquely. Like to kind of children's home. To end up talent za watoto na capture like we take two or three to know idea at least you get people who come through and achukua mmoja mtu anasema let me pay school fees for this let me do this for this le like ukipata producer anakuja kwa tenda anasema acha nita sponsor huyo mse akuwe msanii nimsaidie kumrecord and all that okay good yeah. um so you guys started off as a full package as i as i mentioned earlier there was yeah. a secretary there's someone who was doing particular uh, job description yeah. Um, how did you hack the issue of, uh, you know, financing labor and also, you know, capital when starting your business? Okay, F capital for starting our business, by then, took off financially stable, all of us, because I took a team of students. So one was from JQuart, the other was from KU, Lafo Makitazuna, who from Rongai. So, kuja tuka vetu time ya kuanza, tuka sema, for us to be doing our events well, we, have to, we need to have money in our account. So ilikuwa every month tulikuwa tuna save pesa flani. Kila mtu anatuma pesa kwa account kwa account. So by the time tunafanya event, at least we have something in pocket. Okay. That's how we did it. Okay. Yeah. And how did you make them believe in your vision? Because these are different individuals, uh, as you have mentioned, from university level. How did you make them believe in your vision that this is actually going to work? First, you have to look to, or to people. Look, you approach someone. You have to look to, for someone who has the same vision as you. Someone who is more mature as your something when you attack to achieve something good in life mm -hmm. that's what i did alafu ku approach na ongelesha na taratibu and explain to them this is what i want to do this is what i want by this time wanaka chini wanaona yenyewe people buy your idea you have to come with a good idea for them Mm -hmm. And they will always buy it. Okay. When yeah. you guys are approaching a client, um, I'm so sure, you know, there's so many event planners out here. And I'm just wondering if you guys are approaching a client, what is your value proposition? Because well, I may be thinking, should, why should I work with you? Okay. So far, when I'm approaching someone, you have to go with something good, mm -hmm. something convincing. I love for people to approach client, and a little client. The, you have to check on their background. Do they accept this? Do they nini work already to work on this or something? Mm -hmm. You have to check into their background well mm -hmm. and also approach someone who is suitable for what you are doing. Okay. Yeah. We should approach a client and you guys agreed on something and they ended up, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, playing, playing a different game when you guys not uh, complying. Yeah, I remember back in 26, 2017, at Shauri Moyo, nilienda kumixia policy flani, tulikuwa mekuja katu haya, tuka mtaftia sound, nini, nini. Tuka agree. By, that, by then, tukua na ile contract form. So, tukenda ile agreement ya mdomo and all that. Waka tutumia down payment. Kutumia down payment, kafika sikia event, ilikuwa rusi. Mm -hmm. You can imagine after the wedding, tuliachanisho hivyo gari zote zimeenda, mm -hmm. tulikuwa na watoka at the venue at around 1 p.m., 1 a.m. usiku. Wow. Jia to call in another car na gari yenye tulikuwa tunapigia mtu mwenye hiyo sound alikuwa muranga so lazima mm -hmm. piange maliza event akaona ndo akuja achukue tena hizi mm -hmm. so some clients kuna wale watu na making now deals but later on they come and turn against you okay. like pia recent a lot what happened <laughs> okay recently when he did our event at Eldoret mm -hmm. the sleep and slide pool party mm -hmm. season 3 mm -hmm. tulikuwa na ile mutual agreements with some guys what CD marketing Okay, there was no contract mm -hmm. with it then, because as for me, when I'm working with some young guys, okay, I always give them the trust, because I'm also help, helping them in shaping up their careers and all that. So we had an agreement, Nini tufanya hivi, hivi, hivi. 
on the day of the event all collapsed. Oh, nothing nothing was delivered. It was delivered okay. but on the part of what we had agreed with them, mm -hmm. they didn't even deliver yet. Uh -huh. Even like ten percent of something. Okay. And how do you recover from that? Okay. First you have to after an error, you sit down with the team, you look on the views people give out because in like right now they we have added new people on board. So there's a guy in a lady and a conga observer at the company. Mm -hmm. Yendo inja na angalia views za watu, watu wanasema nini kusu event, nini, the feedback. So when you see like there's also some negativity on it, you have to sit down, see where we went wrong and try to correct it next time when you do something. Okay. Speaking about feedback, how do you guys uh, put yourself out there to the market space that you're targeting and uh, just to marketing yourself? What sort of marketing strategies do you guys have? Okay, first we have, when we're setting the company, we had to understand the age that we want, the people that we want mm -hmm. to attract. Mm -hmm. So in our company, because we do corporate, social and the charity, we are attracting, we are attracting all kinds sort of ages from the kids, the youths and also the grown-ups. So like when we're doing an event, if it's a charity event, you have to go there with the pers perspective that we are approaching kids. So tikienda kwa watoto tunafaa kwa you have to be like them. Okay. Tikienda kwa teens tunafaa kwa you have to act like them. When you are delivering something to them, you have to satisfy as teens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you are going doing a corporate event, tikienda kwa watu, you have to approach them as some on a personal on any level, yes, end up with the disappoint. <laughs> yeah, you can be all generic, like this, we just do this. So yeah. if I'm approaching like a youth uh, um, um, audience, I have to, you know, cut my clothes according to my coat. Like definitely the content and product is for the young guys. Yeah. If I'm going for a corporate, then that is yes. what I'm going to deliver. Yeah, true. All right, so it depends on with the client. It depends with the client. So we have to act according to what they want. Okay. And according even to the theme of the event, the name of the event, we act according to it. All right. You know, you're the first DJ that yeah. I have uh, come across who doesn't charge for guys to gain skills uh, to be a DJ. So why are you doing that when you can monetize from it? Okay, one thing I've always been taught by my mom is always being humble and staying put. So when I started, I was taught by DJ Miles Kenya, shout out to him, and I was DJ for free. So when I'm giving it back to the society, because I love giving it back to the society, I oh, you want to do this, yeah. Okay, let me try help where I can. Mm -hmm. Now that I can offer those services for free, why shouldn't I do? Sometimes we don't do all this for money. Mm -hmm. We do it for passion and love. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as we wind up, take us to the charity events and uh, why charity? Uh, who are you targeting on these charity events? Okay, why we chose charity? Because there are so many kids out there in the streets, at the homes, who are going through a lot. Ana ile love inye anataka kupata ya mzazi inye mine za pata kutoka kwa my mom or my dad. So tunenda at least kuone show love, we're showing them like we're still together in this. We are all in this, we're all born for this, to fight, to win. So when you're visiting them, tunawe pati angeli in words of encouragement, tunawe saidia vinyo, tunaeza mali mkona yetu inafika. So unajua kitembele ya mtoto wane, eh kumbe na kumbuku, anakuwera ni ile furaha, anakubariki. And that's where blessings comes from. Yeah, by giving back, doing what... People love Nini. Oh, Nini kitita fresh out. Spreading hope all through. Yeah. Okay, looking back, what are a couple of uh, achievements that you are really proud of since you guys okay. started uh, Drake Entertainment? Okay, Drake events, we are proud to say like, at least to kia kwa saika to lewa charts ya events company in Kenya doing well. Mm -hmm. At least at Okosa top 10. Mm -hmm. I'm sure of that. Because so far our, our Marketers, when you are board, say they are doing a good job. Shouts out to them. On not say they push all over. You have like different marketers from all over: Kitui, Eldoret, Kisumu, Nakuru, Nairobi. Then we have all marketers all around. So they are helping us reach out to people. To now keep plan say like right now our strategy for this year was to say nini ku sell out Sarah Sasa Vizuri kwa hizi counties zenye zina to support. Mm -hmm. Where we have supporters, we go do something for them. We do at least to try to deliver kitu. Mm -hmm. One and the last one. We the job that we're doing. Oh, couple yeah. of challenges you faced. Okay, challenges ziko. Mm -hmm. 
kwanza mingi sana. <laughs> okay, apart, games. Yeah, apart from the client situation, kuna wale watu yani no matter what you do, people will never appreciate. Mm -hmm. Kuna wale mtu hata umfanyie nini, tashing kusem ah, mtu ah nini. Alafu kuna zile watu kuna zile high expectations. Mose mango si kwa na high expectations on me. Mm -hmm. Cuz me always do what I do. Mm -hmm. Si ati kuna ilikuwa nini? Kuna mtu tulienda mali, eh, okay, about that Eldoret thing. Unapata mtu menda unawana, eh, umsa ya Nairobi, unajua ili expectations ya watu wa usawa kuna pesa event na fake wave. So mtu wanakudia wakufanya, eh, I want this, I want this. Mm. Kwa like, eh, do you really want this? So unawana after, at the end of the day, ukikosa kufanya kenye ya expect. Mm -hmm. Atenda kisema, ah, umsa ya ufala, nini, nini, but all in all, unajua negativity ndo zina help grow. And before I forget, do you work with your client's budget or do you come up with a budget for the client? Okay, we come out with the budget first. Mm -hmm. We send it to the client mm -hmm. after he or she approves. Ama kisema, oh, hii na hii sitaeza indafinika or something. Then we try to come up with something else. All right, before I forget again, we talk about pressure from uh, expectations, that is, from your uh, clients. How do you deal with that pressure if they feel like uh, whatever you have de uh, delivered? does not match up to what they expected. Okay, to that pressure, huwa tunenda tu, tuna try kwanza, unachino pati yanga mtu time yake kwanza after something. Unampe time a cool off, then you try call them for a meeting. You have a sit down and be even a heavy, kulifanyika even a heavy cause of this. You try and explain yourself. Mm. Talk to them. You always believe when you talk to someone, they will always understand you. Okay. But kama mtu understand then, that's not a human. All right. For someone who is watching us and they want to get into event planning, what would be your advice? Okay, first thing to get into event planning is there's me, what derives me is discipline. You have to be disciplined. As much as you have to go industry, you have to something. You have to be honest. You have to be honest. You have to be honest. At the time, you have to plan charity events in Elite Wakonman. Wondaka to pesa etu to con. Mm. You go like, that money is for the kids, not mine. Oh yeah, there's that the aspect, thing. yeah? yeah? People question someone's credibility yeah. because there have been scam stories mm. all over. But if you prove to them, then they get to trust you. The other thing is hard work. I love the other thing, you have to do it for passion. Always mm. end up to kifanya to kituju, ah, unona drink anafanya, unona siju nani anafanya, kina yela kru anafanya zi. You have to do it for yourself. You have to do it because it's you who mm. wants it. Okay. Like I thank God at least in me inspire. There are some youths in me inspire. Mona mgini amanza pia kufanya pool parties. Shout out to him. Ni tuwa Rika events at least. He's doing his best. Alikuda kanyambe bro. Penda kenyo nafanya nini ni advice. At least he na advice ingi na anajaribu wana push. So me love the spirit. So if you're disciplined, hard work, honesty, trustworthy and do it for passion. You're all good. And for someone who uh, wants to be part of uh, Drake events and uh, also be, you know, mentored, how can they reach out to you guys? Okay, you can check us check us out on you, out on Instagram at Drake underscore events, or you can email us Drake events at gmail dot com. Okay. Yeah. As simple as that. As simple as that. And there's no, out. there's no, uh, it's not, you, they're not required to pay any particular fee. You're not required to pay any, unless, unless you want to give out something, okay. like child or something, uh, or you want to pro promote our merchandise, uh -huh. like the t-shirts, oh, the okay, hoodies. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, the only part where you guys monitor is from, it's the events. Yeah. Okay, now I get it. I have a better picture. Thank you very much, uh, Jonathan, for creating time to be with us. Talking about matters pertaining event planning up here. Was say pale home. I'm sure they were. Uh they can really uh, learn one or two things from you. Yeah. And the fact that you also a mentor, that's a, that's a big win. Yeah, thank you so much too. And before I forget, yes, on August 21st. We oh. have something huge. Oh yes, okay. So tell us more about that. As, tell us that as we wind okay. up. Okay, it's called Mr. and Miss Kasarani. It's on its second edition. Okay. Come August 21st mm -hmm. and it's something big. At least we've got the support from all over. Mm -hmm. And if you want to participate, if you want to come join us, mm -hmm. it will be on 21st. Reach us out at, on Instagram. You can call the number 01. One one seven two nine nine seven eight. All right, it's a beauty pageant. So yeah, it's, it's a beauty ladies. pageant for the models, okay. male models Mo and female oh, models. It's, it's, oh, it's oh, it's unisex. Okay. Yeah, it's unisex. Okay. And also for the kids, you can bring your kids out if you are from Kasarani constituency. Uh -huh. This time we are a bit strict because 
we're promoting talent from Kasarani. Okay. In Kasarani, you have a lot of talent. I'm sure of that. A lot of you guys will go to other uh, constituencies, yeah? Yeah, we'll also do some other constituency. Other counties will also visit, uh -huh. do something of that sort, help people at least to not particularly exposure and all that. Now, now, what happens when the, what does the winner get and the first runner Okay, so up? far, shout out to our sponsors, mm -hmm. the ones that we now have. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Vintage Crew, mm -hmm. shout out to Dindi. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not Idindi, the makeup artist. And also, shout out to Lofa Media. Mm -hmm. And also, there's Kasarani, it's called Kasarani Music Academy. Okay. And also, Pet Sounds, shout out to them. They are main sponsors. And as for the winners, okay, for us, we don't give out cash. Okay, okay. Because many pagans are there, just the OSG, the win is 50K. After winning, you're not even given that cash. Mm -hmm. So, as we go with, that's what I'm telling you, go with what you can. So we're like, hey, we're giving you this exposure. Mm. We're training you to at least have something. Oh, gain from, skills. Gain skills from. Okay. So that's what we do. But this time we're trying a bit our best, our very best to have the area MPs, some area leaders. At least when they come, they'll give out something. They to come them. on board and give. Yeah. But for the winners, they'll top. be yeah, they'll be gift vouchers for them. Okay. Yeah. So people from different constituencies can come to Kasarani and participate. They can come only to attend. To attend. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanna participate, unless you're from Kasarani. Okay then. Yeah. So there so you have it. So you said it's on twenty first of, of August. August. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the Miss, uh, Miss Mr. And Miss, Mr. and Miss, Miss Kasarani, Kasarani, a beauty pageant. Uh, so remember, it's on twenty first of August at Kasarani. So if you want to keep up, uh, if you want to keep up on this uh, particular event, and know more details on it, make sure you follow Drick Events. Uh, it's Drick Events across Drake all social events. media. All social media on okay. Facebook is Drick Events Kenya. K E. Okay, okay. So and remember yeah. the Drick is with a Q. Yeah. All right. So there we have it. So make sure you keep the conversation going at Y two five four channel at michelle ashira is where you can find me across all my social at ramaguka we'll be right back uh sampling some of your comments and uh make sure you stay tuned